So this is my Toyota Prius. I know what you're thinking. Sexiest car alive. Well, I got some big plans for this little guy. See, I was perusing the web, as one does, and somehow stumbled across a forum post from 2010. In the post, this guy describes how he wrapped his BMW for 120 bucks with a roll of vinyl sticker paper he got from his friend. I'm talking like stuff they sell at sign shops. Professional car wraps are expensive. I'm talking like thousands of dollars. So when I heard 100 bucks, I was like, I gotta do this. But the post started a heated discussion. The pros were adamant that this vinyl would ruin your car forever. It would strip the paint, it would take your kids, it would ruin your marriage. It was bad news. He posted that seven months later he took it off and everything was fine. So I decided, professional advice, be danged. I was going to try it. The first step, of course, was going to a sign shop website and buying 90 feet of low-quality vinyl sticker paper. It ended up costing me $137.85 plus $9.99 for shipping. So this is the sticker paper that I ordered. Holy crap. It's like I work at like Joann's or something. <laughs> All right, so this is what my car is gonna look like. Let's get into it. But before I could start sticker wrapping my beautiful pre pre, I had to thoroughly clean my car. Once my car had been washed, I then had to take off the badges. So I grabbed some goo gone and started to get to work. The pros on YouTube suggested using floss to take them off, but it ended up just being easier to use my trusty Target gift card complete with spot the dog on the front. With the badges and the sticky residue off, I was ready to wipe the bad boy down with some rubbing alcohol to get off any grease, and then some vinyl applicator spray, which smelled like, I don't know, orange cream or something. It was really quite lovely. From there, it was time to start putting on the vinyl. I attacked the project with the ferocity of a mongoose hunting its prey. I knew it would be a lot of work, but I didn't really know what I was in for. So one thing I'm learning about this stuff is it rips way more easily than, than I thought it would. Uh, <laughs> nice little rip there. We got a big old hole right there. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Another hole right there. Uh, I ripped this whole section down here. I'm gonna have to figure that out. I can't believe I just ripped it! Ah! Taking some time, taking some deep breaths, and I've decided I'm gonna be gentler. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use soft hands, soft fingers. I'm not just getting a matte black car here. I'm getting a life lesson in tenderness and love. Now that phase one is done, I'm gonna try and wrap this unholy mirror, and I'm gonna try and wrap the doors, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap the whole thing. So, let's do it. I'm ready. So I kept going, even despite a surprisingly painful thumb injury, and I started to make progress. Oh, I've been working for about eight hours now, and I've got two panels done. So it's coming, but it's coming slow. <laughs> It's day two. My morale is low. My optimism for this project, waning. My audacity, insanely high. So we're gonna keep this train rolling, baby. We're gonna keep it going. So I badly torn this one. Once again, it's a lot. This is very trying. But a matte black Prius is worth any cost. So I will proceed with love and tenderness. Okay, we're gonna try this knifeless tape again. All right, knifeless tape, moment of truth. There we go. Releases this little thread to cut the vinyl. It's curved. I, I don't know why. Even though I kind of screwed it up, the knifeless tape did actually make a seam that's not all that noticeable. I mean, you can definitely tell if you look up close, but Otherwise, it's not bad. It's day three. Front panel, 
All the way to the back, minus the back bumper, has been done. What started out seeming like a fun DIY project has started to consume my life. I no longer think about food, water, clothing. I only think about sticker paper. But we will continue, and we will prevail. All right, I've turned this hush puppy around, backed it in, so I can now work on this side. I already did this door handle for reasons I can't explain. Two and a half days in. Just do it! I just finished this panel here, and I'm actually starting to feel better about things because on the other side, it's all creased and super bubbly and gross looking. This side, I actually did a pretty good job. It's pretty smooth, and I think it actually might look good. We'll see how it goes with the rest of these bad boys. But uh, for the first time in three days, I'm feeling motivated. I'm feeling like this actually is a good idea. This will, this will be cool. Time will tell. I worked for the rest of the day into the night trying to get it done, but it takes a long time. I've lost track of just how many days I've been at this, but I have a strawberry smoothie in hand. I think today's gonna be the day we're gonna get this bad boy done. So about halfway through, I started doing panels using multiple pieces of vinyl because I realized the seams weren't that noticeable and it was way less likely to tear when you use smaller pieces. It wasn't the most ideal, but it really wasn't that bad. And it was so much easier because this stuff tears so easily in big pieces. It is the final day, I say, for the 18th time. I've done everything. I've done it all, except for the good old roof. So we're gonna do the roof today. It's gonna be fun. And then uh, I'm gonna have myself a Batmobile. So let's make it happen. And finally, after days of way too much work, it was done. So what's it like now that it's done? Well, if you look up close, it's definitely not a perfect job. There's blemishes and imperfections all over. I don't know if it's because it's matte black or not, but if you stand even five feet away, it's hard to tell. With that being said, I'm happier than I thought I'd be, because I saw all the mistakes when I was doing it, but now it's hard to even tell. And honestly, I think it looks pretty cool.